Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, uh, we have a brand new BB conspiracy theory, and uh, I want to play with it. So, the Hurricane Helene. There's so many conspiracies that are popping out of this because of the massive destruction that this hurricane has done in places that are normally not, there's no flooding. And there were some anomalies on the radar and there's a great YouTube channel called Into Thin Air and the two is a number two, so in number two, thin air. And he found some things on the radar that were, and he's been following weather patterns for a long time. So when he sees something that's off, something is off. And we have to ask ourselves, this hurricane is unprecedented how far inland it created destruction. Like there's actually complete little towns that are no longer there. The pictures that are coming out are horrific. And so before I start this reading, I want to take a moment and think of the people who have lost their lives, which they're, they're saying now still a thousand people are missing. So that it could get it could get up into the hundreds. I know it's over a hundred now of confirmed uh, deaths. So let's take a moment for the people who lost their lives, the people who have lost their livelihoods, people who have lost whole farms, all their uh, animals on the farms, their horses, their cows, their chickens, completely wiped out. All the people who have lost their homes, all the people who have lost everything. Let's just please take a moment and think about these people and uh, and uh, these innocent bystanders uh, with this unprecedented destruction. So the big question is in the conspiracy, uh, one of the things that people have pointed out is this is a, the parts that were hit were a big uh, Republican section of, um, now I know, you know, uh, hundreds or even a thousand of lost lives certainly won't make a difference in the voting. But if all the infrastructure is destroyed, that might make a difference in the voting. And the infrastructure is absolutely destroyed. There's a town called Asheville, and it is completely an island unto itself now. Every road and bridge in and out of Asheville has been destroyed. And so everybody in there has to rely on food to be, uh, food and provisions to be dropped in. And uh, it's, it's unprecedented. It absolutely is. And so I'm going to ask the cards. We're going to call in our angels. And I'm going to ask the cards. Was this targeted? Or was this actually just a natural occurrence that has to be uh, that happens to be a coincidence during hurricane season that it hit this part of the United States? All right. So let's just clear that up right away. So upright is uh, yes, it was man made in reverse is no, it is a natural occurrence and it is a coincidence. All right. So upright is positive. Yes, it was a man-made event or man um, uh, had a hand in it. Let's put it that way because man can't make weather, but it can. It has things <laughs> that can determine the weather. Let's put it that way. Uh, so did man have, did human beings have a hand in this uh, hurricane, this unprecedented uh, damage? Upright positive, uh, yes, it, or it was just a natural occurrence and has to be, uh, a, and just a complete coincidence, the part of the of the United States that it hit. Upright positive, yes, man-made, reverse, no, not man-made, or hand-in, or whatever you want to call it. All right, cards are ready. Page of Swords, upright. The Emperor, upright. Six of 
swords upright, seven of swords upright, <laughs> seven of pentacles upright, king of swords in reverse. I got to back this up a little bit because otherwise these all won't fit again. Pardon me. Let's move them over. I think we have our answer. I don't even know. Let's read the last one. Five of wands in reverse. All right. You know what? Stay with me here. Trump is a king of swords. He is the Gemini. This is the Gemini card, the king of swords. It's in reverse and it's to create um, problems for him with the five. So <laughs> one, two, three, four, five upright. Plus we have two sevens here. We have an emperor. So somebody at the very top ordered this. Somebody at the very top ordered this. And yes, it was to disrupt Trump and create problems for the King of Swords, who is Trump. And it's in reverse. What's the underlying here? Three of Cups in reverse. All right. So yes, here's the Page of Swords. And that is the internet for me. And I'm wondering here with this emperor and then the six of swords, look at all the water here, interesting swords. And yet there's look at the water and moving on from a stressful situation to a peaceful situation. And this is definitely a strategy. Interesting. Another swords with water. Can you see that? Another swords with water. Swords are air. They are not water. Look at this is, <laughs> this is definitely a strategy. And then we have six and seven. I think this seven here, this is a long-term strategy, actually. This is, um, there was some kind of long-term strategy here. This was ordered by somebody upon high. The emperor here is upright. This was definitely ordered. Um, this is a long-term strategy to disrupt um, Trump's. Yeah, I mean, he's. I, you saw me shuffle and put them out. We asked, upright, positive, well, did man have a hand in it? We have an emperor just show up right there at the top of the food chain. Now, who is that? Is that Soros? Is that... Um, who's above sorrows? Is that who is that? That's not Biden. I'm telling you that right now. That's not Biden. Um, who runs the Democrats? Well, according to my sources, it was somebody up on high to disrupt Trump, and I believe he was supposed to go to to. Georgia or some part of the world, but it's definitely to create more problems with the five of wands here in reverse. Now we have the three of cups in reverse. There may be some disruption. There may be, um, you know, the person who ordered it, there may be some people going, that was a little much, don't you think? Uh, we, cause we're, they're in kind of a disagreement here. This could actually be the recovery efforts Nobody's coordinated with what's going on. Um, you know, people are saying, where's Harris making a statement? Well, she's not the president. Biden's still the president. Some of you may have forgotten that. <laughs> Biden is still the president. Vice President Harris is still vice president. Yeah, she can say something because it's her campaign and whatnot. She can say something, you know, on the basis of her campaign, but actually the um, the original message should come through President Biden. He's still president. And people are calling for Vice President Harris to say something. And uh, yeah, of course she can. She's a, a human being and, and has empathy for people. So why wouldn't she? But you need the president to stand up and say something. 
Um, I'm not accusing the Democrats of doing anything. I'm saying here with this emperor and the king of swords in reverse, and they are mirroring each other. See how the cards mirroring each other? It was a strategy to turn the king of swords on his head. Here's the strategy card. And the strategy is, is working towards the emperor. And now this is definitely some kind of long-term plan. So now, um, who are they going to bring in to that area to fix things? This is definitely a long-term plan. To, to This is something that this isn't, well, they say it's going to take years to, re, to, to repair a lot of that stuff. I'm thinking seven years. I'm thinking at least seven years before the remnants, like, and, until all the roads are fixed, the bridges are fixed, the infrastructure is back in place. There's hospitals that are gone. I mean, you can't just pop up a hospital. I mean, that those take a couple of years to build, actually. So I'm thinking this is a long-term process. This is going to take at least seven years. That could be like almost two election cycles, really, this year and then in four more years, right? Um, it was definitely called from somebody above. Definitely called. But there's disagreement. All right, let's get into the read. So, yes, I, I mean, if this was known, it was just a natural occurrence. Well, there's the end of the reading. But let's find out what is what is really going on here. What is really going on here? I want to clear that. What is really going on here? What is what is their end game? What is their end game by destroying people people's lives? What is their end game by destroying people's lives? Was it just to test the system that they had? Was it to send a message to people? Uh, what is their end game? What is their end game? To disrupt, uh, you know, a bunch of states and their voting? Uh, what's their end game? What's their end game? And it's so funny. Once I saw that video that on September 26th, there was a uh, hurricane named Helene. And uh, then on September 26th, there was a second hurricane named Helene. Really got me thinking. What's What are the chances? Two of swords upright. Ace of pentacles in reverse. Eight of pentacles. Harfant and eight of wands in reverse. Okay, so it was definitely they're working on something. They're bankrupting people to make them go a different way, right? With this eight of wands would be, you know, we got eight and eight and Hierophant. Here's a hand. We're going to help you move forward. Uh, here's some money. This is absolutely not coming, guys. Absolutely not coming. Um, I think these people are basically on their own. I think here with the Two of Swords is there's actually going to be some stubbornness here involved. Some kind of stubbornness is involved that things are stalling. Things, it's... It, <sighs> It's going to look like people want to help, but they're doing it for their own. Let's, I'm hoping the Six of Pentacles show up as a charity. World in reverse. Sun upright. We're going to see a lot of heroes. We're going to see a lot of heroes come out of this. Uh, new beginnings. Uh, people really... The hanged man in reverse. I think, I think, I think they're, they're going to realize nobody's coming to save them. And I think a lot of them are going to renounce any kind of leaders that they have. I think these people are going to do it on their own. They are resourceful. Uh, they know the land, they know the area. And I think that 
we're going to see a lot of them um, kind of wake up to reality. Two of Pentacles in reverse. No one's come, no one's really coming to save them. They're just with Ace of Pentacles in reverse, World in reverse, Two of Pentacles. They are certainly not going to get the money that Ukraine has gotten. Absolutely not. Page of Pentacles. They're going to be sold a lot of things, saying we we're the government and we're here to help you. Um, but they're going to realize that the little bit that the little bit of help they do get really isn't amounting to a hill of beans. I think this is some kind of lesson to teach these people about how um, set in their ways they are. Ace of Wands in reverse. I think this Two of Wands in reverse. I think, okay, so we know in the South, um, in, in the Deep South, and we have the what is it, the Confederate flag, and we have a lot of Republicans that live down there, a lot of conservative, a lot of conservative Christian people. And I think this is some way to disrupt that, right? So here we have the Two of Swords. These people are God-fearing, Christian, Southern Baptist. They aren't changing that. This is some way to show them that um, Jesus isn't going to save you. And you know what? Neither is the government. This is some way to disrupt their thinking that you watch, that there might be subtle messages of um, you shouldn't rely. I'm, I'm trying to word this properly. You shouldn't rely on Jesus or God for, for anything. There's going to be subtle messages here to disrupt some of that stronghold Christianity. Here in Alberta, we have a part called the, the Bible Belt. And that's where Christianity really has a stronghold. And I'm thinking like the same thing. I'm thinking like the Southern Baptist Christianity Bible Belt. There's some way here they're trying to break that up. Don't be surprised if you see start to see things like your God did this. Is it really a God? How did Jesus save you? Like there, this subtle, because that's part of the overall globalist plan is to destroy Christianity. Um, I'm not saying that's right or wrong. I'm saying that's a fact. Whenever communism or Islam moves in, it uh, destroys Christianity. That's one of the first things that they do. I don't believe Islam's trying to move into the United States. That's too big of a, a bite for them. But I believe communism is. And one of the first things communism does is get rid of all the churches. Fool. Strength in reverse. Four of pentacles in reverse. King of Wands upright, Ten of Pentacles upright. This is some way to break the spirit of people. Strength in reverse, Two of Wands in reverse, Four of Pentacles in reverse, showing that they have no help or they have no hope. But you know what? Here's Buddy and he's coming to help you, King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is generally somebody who you can really trust. They're entrepreneurs, though. They aren't, they, they're there to make a money. They're there to make money. I mean, they'll help you. They'll employ people. They're great people. They're honest, but they're there to make money. This King of Wands. And also they've got passion. They got fire. They've got like, hop to, hop, let's get going. Let's get going. This also could be the military coming in, but somebody's coming in. We're going to be your savior. You've been picking on the wrong savior. We're your real saviors here. And they're bringing a pile of money with them. And they're bringing like legacy with them. And um, so, th I mean, this actually really could be the military. But generally, the Ten of Pentacles is a legacy family. Uh, money handed down legacy to legacy. Um, inheritance. 
Um, so I think we might, we might see some big money coming in because they see the opportunity. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I think you're going to hear a lot of promises. A lot of promises. A lot of these people are wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, we're going to come in and um, I don't think they're going to get anything done. So this might be the military. Not that the military it doesn't get things done. It's just um, they come in and out. They come in like they're they're a stopgap measure, right? They come in, they do what they can. They make sure people have water. They make sure people have electricity and off they go. They don't have anybody, like they don't make sure the grocery stores are filled. Maybe they give people the military meals and whatnot. Uh, but they are also strangled here this Knight of Pentacles with inertia. They have to wait for orders from above, right? So orders from above, um, you know, this, the, well, we call them battalions. You know, you work on, you know, restoring water or you, you know, work on sandbagging or uh, or whatnot. These troops are over here to work on this, but they have to wait for orders. It's not something they can take initiative of. Um, they have to wait for orders, you know, and so if they're, if they're standing there and they see a pipe that is, is leaking, they can't even chew some gum and stick it on the pipe if they don't have the orders to do that. That's the gods. I used to work as a civilian for the military and I know when they have orders, they have orders and, and, um, they don't dare, most of them won't dare, unless it's a life or death, um, go beyond those orders because they could get into really, really big trouble. They don't see the overall picture. They just see what their posting is. Uh, so I think this is part of the problem. I think the military is going to come in. Um, I think it's going to get some stuff going. They might they might create, you know, some uh we, we have them like temporary emergency measure laws here in Canada. They might do something very similar there. I think, though, here, I think some people are going to make more money than others. Let's just put it that way. Well, of course, that's always the way, isn't it? I think it's going to be a big money thing for people rather than a people thing. Um. I think it's, it's, uh, I don't know, seven of swords in reverse, four of wands in reverse, queen of pentacles, knight of cups, six of wands in reverse, nine of pentacles in reverse. All right. I think, um, if anything, I think, is there like a strong female presence in that area? Uh, because like, is there, I don't know the area, like, is there a female, um, governor, for example, or a female, um, uh, senator or, or, or somebody like that, that, uh, will, will swoop in and kind of help a lot, especially with children and mothers, I think there'll be some kind of offer for children and mothers, uh, almost a refugee status, you know, because you think children's schooling is disruptive, disrupted, you know, babies need diapers and formula. And if there's nothing on the shelves, there might be some kind of offer for children. And, oh, look, look at that. The clock agrees with me. Some kind of refugee status, uh, you know, right here with with this I'm, I'm just getting the un won't be a lot of help but it'll be something it will be some kind of offer but they've got some kind of ulterior motive there probably just to look good like they're doing something won't be a lot of help but it'll be it'll be um be something it'll be some it'll be it'll be something for them to look like they're helping what a mess what a god awful mess these poor people, they're on their own. The only people who come in are, they're, they're, they're say they're there to help, but they're there to line their pockets. Um, and there's some kind of ulterior motive here to separate the women and children from everything. 
uh, of course, go. Your baby's hungry, your baby needs diapers, whatever. Just be aware. Just really be aware. Uh, all is not what it seems. There's some kind of ulterior motive there. All right. Well, God bless these people. Um, they're in for, this is just the beginning, to tell you the truth. I think they're in for a whole lot of more, unfortunately, hurt. Thank you very much for watching. If you can help, uh, please make sure it's a reputable charity that is helping. Uh, there's a lot of, of uh, on, tic on TikTok, on X, there's some uh, legit ones. Uh, but please make sure that what you're donating to uh, is legit and is going to the actual people who, who need help. Uh, not to like the Red Cross, for example, that um, there's many horror stories about them that the money doesn't even trickle down to the people. Uh, but do what you can. And uh, wow, these poor people. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please take good care. See you online. Bye for now.